The Nox Perennial has to be one of the most slept on brand new weapons that has come out with the Season of the Witch. This weapon has definitely flew under everyone's radars because players didn't even really know that this was a new gun and that it even existed. And that's probably because it feels impossible to even get one of these weapons to drop. Since the start of the season, I've only had one Nox Perennial drop for me, and to be honest, I don't even know how I got it. According to some third party sites, this weapon drops from the gunsmith rank up packages or just by decrypting engrams. However, if you do manage to get your hands on a Nox Perennial with the right perks, this is a meta changing gun. This is hands down the best weapon to pair with a tractor cannon. This is the new best support DPS weapon that the designated tractor cannon teammate needs to be using, and I'm going to go over exactly why, so let me break it down for you. To start the list off, the Nox Perennial is a high impact frame, which as we all know, these frames do the most overall DPS to bosses compared to other fusion rifle frames. Secondly, this weapon has a wonderful perk pool, the God Roll being Envious Assassin and Control Burst. With Envious Assassin procced, you can get 13 bullets in the magazine, and once you've procced Controlled Burst, it's going to increase your damage by 20% and decrease your charge time Time by 10%. And yes, I know a lot of fusion rifles have Envious Assassin and Controlled Burst, such as the Loaded Question and the Eremite, but what really makes this weapon stand out more than those other fusion rifles is that it goes in the Kinetic Slot. Now, because the Noct Perennial goes in the Kinetic Slot, it frees up your Energy Slot to use some amazing weapons. There are far more diverse and just overall better weapons to use in the Energy Slot compared to use in the Kinetic Slot. And I'm sure everyone also agrees with me. With the Nox Perennial being in the Kinetic Slot, this frees up a lot of weapons to use in your energy weapon that use primary ammo. Weapons like the Zali's Bane, the Doom of Chelchus, the Nation of Beasts, any of the submachine guns like the Kallus Mini Tool or the Ecolos SMG. All of these weapons are just the better primary weapons to use and having that Nox Perennial in the Kinetic Slot is highly underrated. Now this gun has so many pros, but there is one major con to this gun and it's that it feels like it's impossible to even get one. Like I said earlier in the video, I have only had one of these weapons drop since the start of the season, and I would also assume most of the people watching this video are also in the same scenario. Maybe because this gun is so good, Bungie said, hey, let's make the drop chance of it really, really low. So next time you're playing Destiny and you're decrypting your engrams and going to the gunsmith, keep an eye out for the Nox Perennial because it is seriously a weapon that you should have in your arsenal. However, until you get a God Roll Nox Perennial, I recommend using the Eremite or the Loaded Question. These are also good great high impact frames that are just as good. And for some reason, if you don't have any of them, just use the Merciless. It is still the best high DPS fusion rifle to use in the game. But anyway, Guardians, that will summarize the video there. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to drop a like and a subscribe down below. But anyway, I'll see you later.